Hi, I'm Rachel. And on this video, I'm going to show you a halo, the dog collar and fence, or let's see, what's it called? It's called Halo 3. And the reason why I thought of doing this video is because I need to put my dogs on some kind of a fence. We had a invisible fence all the way around our property, but the gophers and the moles keep biting through it and wrecking it. So it's just basically become a pain in the butt trying to fix it all the time. So it was either put a, fence, a regular fence up all around four and a half acres of property or try the halo. And so we bought the halo. The only downfall is the initial price starting up. I believe it was in the 700 range just for one collar and I need it for two collars. That is kind of hard on the pocketbook. Also, because it's a GPS and it got, comes from, a lot of the information comes from satellites, they have an ongoing a monthly cost and there's three different ranges of costs. So I think one is very minimal, like in the five, dollar range or something like that and then the second one is around nine ninety nine ten dollars and then they have a third one and that one's like thirty nine dollars forty dollars a month but each one has obviously has a little bit more I'm thinking that the forty thirty nine forty dollar one basically just has a few more training videos on it. From what I've seen, a little more help with your dog if you need it. Some people do, I don't. So that's why I chose the middle range. They also have uh, for another $9 or something like that a month, like a protection package that if something happens to your collar, then you don't pay another seven, eight hundred dollars. You just pay, I think it was like a hundred and twenty-five, somewhere around there. So if you add that to middle one, it's roughly about nineteen dollars a month. So and that can be costly for some people. But you get what you pay for. So on this video, I'm going to show you as I watch the videos, there's lots of training videos on how to set your dog up on this and how to teach them the right way right away so that they don't become scared of the collar or scared of the boundaries and the noises that it makes. It teaches you how to prevent that and actually you know, just kind of do it the right way that you should do instead of just throwing it on them and here you go, <laughs> hopefully it works. No, you need to do it a better way. So everything is smooth. So as we go along, or as I go along on my own training with learning this whole halo system, as I watch the training videos and the information as the dogs and I go through this, I will come back and give you an update on what I've learned and then I will video how I'm doing this with the dogs and you can see the reaction and how they struggle and how I struggle. Hopefully not, but I have a feeling this is gonna be some trial and error. So we'll go from there. Okay, so here is the collar. But first off, here is the box got Caesar Milan on it and he is awesome in my eyes he is a great great trainer dog trainer so when you open it up this is how it comes a little welcome and they say they upgraded us to Halo 3 that was nice of them because that's what we wanted anyway 
and it just tells you what it can do what this one does versus number two and then welcome to halo and some information from caesar and then let's get started and then back here set up for success there's some information so when you open it up and here's the collar i just took it out it comes with the color that you pick i think there's like five different colors of the out outer cloth vinyl it's pretty tough it goes on the outside and just protects it and inside is okay so here is the charging port which this connects onto this and this fits on see this right here that's the speaker and this is the charging port so this piece here fits on there it's kind of odd i've never really seen a charging system like this but it works so this will connect onto this and then you plug then you connect it on to here and then here this is a beacon i believe because i just started watching the setup and this is basically for inside so if you squeeze this and then a blue light turns on and it says basically it's on and then you put it around stuff inside your home that you don't want them to go to so like for instance if you want them to stay out of the kitchen then you put it there um if you want them to stay away from the toilet they like to drink the toilet water and you put it in there and it gives a little beep to them it says no i think you need to back up or they're who knows whatever you want, don't want them to go in a certain room that's what that's for and this i am not sure exactly what this is yet and i will find out hopefully in the upcoming videos that i'm watching and these are the different size prongs so right now this here are the training prongs so you will the dog will not get a vibrate or a um, static is what they call it so not a shock but a static when you're training them on these but here is where you want to put these and according to the video they say if a if a dog has the longer fur kind of like maggie maggie's got longer fur maggie come here good girl come here let me see let me see you yeah so as you can see maggie's got longer hair and she's got a thicker neck i mean she's she's got some she's got some thickness there so that's why you want the longer prongs and then kaylee eve is my oldest one she doesn't really go anywhere she just sleeps a lot so i'm not even getting her a collar and having to train her oh there's kaylee kales come here kaylee come good girl come here Take your time. Don't hurry. What are you doing? Don't take that line to get around the tree. Kaylee, come on. Come here. Let's go. Come on. Okay, good girl. So as you can see, Kaylee, she's a Doberman. 
she's got very, very short, thin hair. And so they said shorter haired dogs need, uh, need to use the smaller prongs because it needs less hair to get through and fat. So, okay, that's all I needed, sweet girl. Oh, you're gonna, oh excuse you. Like a cow getting into the water. Holy and she chews the water. So silly. Maggie likes to watch the frogs and the fish and the water bugs. Come on out, honey. All right. So that's what comes in there. And they say that when you watch the first video and you download the app, uh, you need to charge your collar right away. <clears throat> and then the videos take you from there. Okay, one of the first things that they want you to do is go into, after you've downloaded the app, go to my collars and set up for each dog. So I've got Kaylee and I've got Maggie and I've set them up with two different colors and that shows up on the collars so I know whose is whose. So it says the battery life on each dog, how much is left. Uh, they suggest charging each collar after each day but don't have it on longer than 12 hours because it can really um, bother their neck and their skin. So let's go into Kaylee's. Well, I guess we're, yeah, we're in Kaylee's. And so it, um, it says if it's connected, it says um, no issues. And then um, same with Maggie. So if I need to find the collar, Where's the collar? Your pet is wearing a halo collar. This action may confuse them. Proceed now anyway. Yeah, because they're not wearing it. Oh, you can hear it beeping. Oh, how weird. Okay, cool. Shut it off. That was interesting. So if you lost the collar, there it is. Okay, so... I pressed on Kaylee and it automatically shows up on the screen where she is in this picture. So around the yard. So it says, since they don't even have the collars on yet, it says that it's sitting right here in this gazebo. Same with Maggie's. Feedback settings, that's what we want, right there. Okay, yes. They want you to put the collar on first before you do this stuff and just let them get used to it. They said for about 30 minutes, take it off, give them a break, and then try it again. So that they see it as a good thing, not a bad thing. So after you've done that, then you need to update the settings. So you can come in here, prevention, encouragement. So I've got a heartbeat for Kaylee for warning feedback. Boundary feedback is another heartbeat. Um, emergency is the static number four, but I don't think I'm gonna need that. Um, for encouragement, so the whistle is when I want her to come back. And then the next one, if she does good, Caesar's, it's actually Caesar saying, good girl. Good girl. <laughs> it's funny. So, and then you can test the collar. And then I have uh, another whistle to have her come home if she's out and about and heading toward the road or somewhere where she shouldn't be. And that's for her to, you know, get back home or find me. And she will because I've used um, beep callers before. And if I beep her, she comes back immediately. And I have the th same thing set for Maggie. So... Okay, so let's do this. Let's put it on them and see how they go. 
So this one, I believe, is... This is Maggie's. I got Kaylee right here, so let's go do her. Kaylee, come here, honey. Come on. Kaylee, come. Good girl. Let's take this one off. It's fine. I'll put a new one on. Hey, come here. She loves her collars. So this is the... Hey, 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 hey. Kaylee, sit. Kaylee, sit. Sit, sit, sit. Good girl. Sloop. There, look at that. Big, you want one too, honey buns? You want one? All right, come here. Maggie. There you go, sweet girl. Hey, get back, get back, get back. You're all wet. All right, girls. They suggest that we leave it on for half an hour and make sure that on the app it is all shut off as in any notification and boundary noises. And let them get used to it. And then we'll try it again. And then they suggest doing the beaking, beak, the beacon training inside. So that should be interesting. Oh, so we'll go from there. Okay, so now I'm inside and I watched the next step on the videos and it says take the beacon. Hold it down to turn it on. There, now you can see that it's on. So they don't smell your smell on it, your scent. They don't want the dog to see it as a bad thing if they get scared when you're working with them on this. They want this noise to not be associated to you at all. So I'm going to put it in a bag. And then they say go to your settings and turn the beacon part on. Okay, so what they suggest is you put them on a leash. And I had to kick everybody, the other two dogs out because this is a one-on-one -on -one without really any di distractions. So I had to do that. And so her big distraction and her big issue that the only thing I could really think of is she likes to get into the pantry and steal the dog treats. So I'm gonna try that. But what they suggest is that you put it down and have them go in another room and then you walk by it and then get the beep. So I'm going to, let's see, God, this is not easy at all. I'm going to put her out and then I'm going to bring her back in and then we'll try this after it's all set up. Okay, so I set her freeze-dried liver that she absolutely loves down on the floor along with the beacon. Kaylee, quit opening that door. And then I have some in my hands. <laughs> God dang it, this is not... Okay, so we're going to walk around. Kaylee, come. All right, let's see if I can do this right. Oh, no, back, back. Then I just got a signal that uh, she, was, she was warned. All right, we're gonna try this again. Katie, come here. Oh, uh, no, no. Back, back, back. I don't know if this is working or not. This is what's stupid. This is frustrating. Do I even hear it?
All right, we're gonna try this again. Let's see what happens. Okay, Kaylee. Nope, back up. Kaylee, back up. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Where's it? All right, now I'm gonna let her kind of walk around. Go ahead. Let's see, she's just, she's too smart for this. So I'll lead her. No, back up, back up. That's no. Okay, so what happened is I actually took the collar off and put it by the sensor or the beacon and I could hear it vibrating. It's like beep, 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 beep. It's like a heartbeat and that's the setting that I have on. So it's working. She just comes back and she's headstrong. No, Kaylee, no. Back, back. I'm back to mom. Good girl. And every time she does that, I get a little warning on my phone that says the beacon went off. So let's keep going. Go through. Go through. Oh, Kaylee, no. Kaylee, Kaylee, no. Jeez. This isn't working very well. Okay, so now I have Maggie. So let's see what she does. Okay, ready? She, she knows right away. Yep. So she got a warning right away. Good girl, Maggie. Yes, come back to mom. Good girl. So I'm going to give her a little treat for that. Good girl. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Oh, no, back up, back up. Good girl. Good girl. Come back to mom. Yes. Good girl. So what they want you to do is to keep doing that so that you're eventually, uh, you get to the point that you're off the leash and they just eventually just come to you. But I think she gets that beep. So I'm going to try doing the whistle now. I'm going to try that and see what happens. If not, if that doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to go back to this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is they want you to do the uh, whistle training. So I have to push the whistle button here and get her to start coming to me by the whistle. And they want you to use a leash, but she already kind of gets a lot of this stuff. So, Kaylee, come. Kaylee, come. Kaylee, come. Kaylee, come. Come here. I don't know. I'm gonna take this off and see if I can hear it. Wait, please. Yeah, I can hear it. See if you can hear it. Okay, so that's what she hears. As long as I press this in the training. So we're gonna try it again. And obviously on these collars, you can see that I haven't cut them yet. <laughs> I know this is so confusing. It's confusing for me too, girl. All right, um, let's go outside. I'll let her outside and then I'll bring a whistle. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the whistle. Kaylee, come. Kaylee, come. 
Good girl. All right, so now let's try Maggie. Okay. You go out. Hi, Meg. All right. So now I need to get on clothes. Let's go to Maggie. Hit Maggie. And then let's do that. So now we're going to try it Maggie. Maggie, come. Maggie, come. Good girl. Maggie, good girl. You got stuff on your face. And I'm supposed to be giving treats. So maybe I will. Okay. Okay, I'm going to hit it again. Maggie, come. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. See, she's borderline skittish on the whole thing, so she's not sure if she, what, what the deal is with that whistle. All right, so now we're going to try it outside. I want to let her go. Maggie, come. She's not listening very really well. Come, Maggie. Good girl. Good girl, Maggie. Good girl. Kaylee, come. Kaylee, come. Come. Oh, she's rotten today. She's very headstrong. That's one thing about Dobermans. They're very headstrong. Come. Good girl. We need to work on that. It's on here. You can do both at the same time. And that's, that to me is awesome. So I'm going to try that. Do the whistle. Nothing. Feedback to the pet could not be confirmed. Maggie's collar is out of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and oh my goodness. Better not keep up or we're gonna take this back. Let's try this. Come. Come. Maggie, come. Good girl. Good girl. I want to see if hers is whistling. Let me see. Oh my, you are filthy. Let me see if I hear it. Yeah, I hear it. Good girl. You get them distracted and try it again. Training dogs is very difficult. It takes a lot of patience and time. Okay, go get them. Get them. Get them. Go get them. Go get them, Mac. Get them. Maggie, go get him. And I'm going to sneak over here. Let's see what I'm going to do. I oh, see Maggie's following me. Let's try it. Hit the whistle. Come. Let's 
try again. I want them right to me. Come. Hey. Good girls. Yes. Good girls. Good girls. Good girl. Yeah. And I'm even going to hit the. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Okay, I'm gonna try this again here for both of them. <laughs> They're following me everywhere I'm going. Oh, I don't blame them. Let's try Kaylee here and Maggie. Let's see if Maggie comes from the back. Whistle. Come. Hey. Come. She is not listening. Good girl. Feedback to the pet could not be confirmed. Kaylee's collar is out of Wi-Fi. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Good girl. Well, we'll keep working on it, see what happens. Tell me why you're not listening.